When Manchester City signed Rodri for a club record fee of 62.8 million euros in July 2019, they were taking a big risk on a 22-year-old who had played for Atletico Madrid for just one season, following two impressive campaigns at Villarreal. Making his way in Champions League level football, Rodri was brought to the Etihad as the long-term successor to Fernandinho in City's midfield. After needing a period to settle, he has become an important member of one of the best teams in Premier League history under the guidance of one of the football's true innovators in Pep Guardiola. This is a player with no social media presence, no Twitter, no Instagram, who kept a low profile during Manchester City's ecstatic celebrations in the past years, and who continued his studies in business administration and management long after making it as a professional footballer. Many of the qualities which have made Rodri serve as Pep Guardiola's on-field avatar at City and seen him succeed Sergio Busquets with Spain, were present from the beginning. Others came later. Rodri's first club was Villanueva de la Canada, a small commuter town with a population of just under 23,000 to the west of Madrid. He went on to play for Rayo Maya de Hontas under 11s and under 12s making friends with Lucas and Teo Hernandez, now of PSG and AC Milan, respectively, before joining Atletico Madrid. I saw him for the first time with Atletico Infantil, under 14s, the team's then coach, Mauricio Elena, tells ESPN. He already stood out. He was small, but you could see he was a boy who had vision and intelligence. He was one of the smartest players at Atletico Madrid's academy. He kept his head up, his body shape was good, he was quick. He was already able to read the game in a way that wasn't normal for players of his age. Yet, not everybody was convinced. For a central midfielder, Rodri wasn't considered tall or strong enough. After experimenting with changes to his position, Atletico let him go and Villarreal, known for having one of the best academies and youth scouting networks in Spain, took advantage. By 2016, at age 19, Rodri had made his La Liga debut. A year later, he was the first team regular, starting 36 league games for Villarreal in 2017-2018. But Rodri remained committed to other pursuits. When he made his national team debut, coming off the bench in Spain's 1-1 draw with Germany in March 2018, he was still combining football with a university education. The student environment helps me a lot. Rodri told Lara Zon, explaining his decision to continue living in student accommodations while playing in La Liga. It helps me to clear my head. Not everything in life is football. By this stage, every big club was taking notice. Barcelona, already on the lookout for a future Busquets successor, were keen, but Atletico moved first, rectifying their earlier mistake with a 20 million move in July 2018. Atletico manager Diego Simeone loved Rodri. In his one season as part of the Atletico first team, only two outfield players, Antoine Griezmann and Saul Niguez, played more minutes. Only captain Koke had more touches. No Atletico player completed more passes, made more tackles or ball recoveries. There was just one problem. Atletico had set Rodri's release clause at a high but still accessible 70 million euros. Manchester City had been watching and the chance to learn from Guardiola was too good to resist. In 12 months, Rodri had gone from Villarreal to Atletico to City, becoming the Premier League club's record signing in the process. Simeone and Guardiola are two different points of view, two different ways of working, Rodri told Marca in 2019, but they're both ambitious and they're both winners. I think Guardiola saw in Rodri something of what Pep was as a player, Elena tells ESPN. Guardiola saw himself reflected in Rodri, and then he built a team around him. Pep improved Rodri's positioning a lot, and Rodri learned a lot from Simeone in terms of his defensive work. Those were the two fundamental pillars in the development of Rodri as a player. But before we move to the tactical analysis, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps us a lot. Rodri the player is a long way from the perception of the typical Spanish central midfielder. Tall, lean and physically imposing, he is an energetic, combative and tenacious midfielder who excels in regaining possession as much as he does with the ball. He covers lots of ground, supporting attacks from the base of midfield but also providing security against counter-attacks by rarely moving ahead of the ball. He has brilliant anticipation and is particularly effective at dispossessing opponents by nipping in to steal the ball as a pass approaches an opponent. Given his size, nationality and position, comparisons have been inevitably made with Sergio Busquets. 
who was once so influential under Guardiola at Barcelona. Just like Busquets, Rodri records consistently impressive defensive numbers, regaining the ball through tackles or through picking up second balls through adapting good, effective positions in central midfield. They are also similar in that Rodri rarely goes to the ground, preferring to jockey or delay attackers before using his upper body strength to maneuver them off the ball. Even when chasing an opponent or making a recovery run, he rarely commits to a slight tackle. Instead, he chooses to bite his time to wait for the opportune moment to attempt a tackle and he tends to win the ball more often than not when he does. His tackling numbers are predictably, given how much City dominate possession, far lower for City than they were at Atletico. But it's an impressive indication of his ability that he has been able to perform a defensive midfield role for two teams with such contrasting styles. That is ultimately because, while his reputation has largely been built on his significant defensive abilities, Rodri is also extremely adept in the building phases of possession, both when he has time on the ball to distribute passes and when resisting pressure. He often leaves the more adventurous passes to his more attack-minded teammates, but he is capable of breaking lines with incisive vertical passing and that has been particularly useful as City attempt to feed their talented attacking midfielders between the lines. And now we have to talk about the Champions League winning season. The Spanish midfielder tucked home City's winner as they beat Inter Milan 1-0 in the Champions League final and completed a treble in Istanbul. Rodri said, I think it was the only time I went forward in the game because Inter were so narrow and I wanted to make sure the two strikers weren't comfortable. In that moment I just saw the space. In the first moment I thought about shooting strong but then I realized there were 6 or 7 players in the goal area and I was like, no, I'm going to put it inside the first post. The end result was incredible, but there was half an hour still to go, so it was a big effort from all of us. We deserve it. What a season, we deserve it. Rodri was named Champions League Player of the Year by UEFA after the final, and also selected in the team of the season. Rodri played in all but one of City's Champions League matches in the 2022-23 season, with the Champions League final match winner his second goal in the tournament during the campaign. And now we move to the Ballon d'Or. Rodri's key role in Spain's European Championship triumph this summer has inevitably moved him up in the public opinion polls when it comes to things such as the Ballon d'Or. That is something Rodri has said that he does not care about. But there is no denying that he has become more than just a world-class footballer over the past few weeks. His Spain teammates gave him a guard of honor after the final whistle against England on Sunday. Some of them, as well as his manager, Luis de la Fuente, have called for him to win the Ballon d'Or while thousands of Spaniards serenaded him with Rodri's on fire, in English, at the trophy parade in Madrid. He was named player of the tournament and people are not just talking about him as the best midfielder in the world now. There are conversations about him as the best player, full stop. Not many City fans have gone that far, but they, and everybody inside the club, have known his quality for years. The reason Rodri's on fire was the go-to song of choice was because that's what his club teammates sang in Istanbul last summer, after he scored the winning goal against Inter Milan in the Champions League final in June 2023 to clinch the treble for his club. Not even a moment as significant as that bumped him up to the kind of PR levels he can now enjoy from his well-deserved sunbed. It's hard to nail down exactly how a player who does not operate in the final third goes from a well-regarded footballer to a cultural symbol. But in the Premier League, Virgil van Dijk and N'Golo Kante have done it in recent years, and Rodri can now presumably look forward to being mentioned in a grind track. With Pep Guardiola as manager, who has been named dropped in at least two grind tracks, incidentally, it has been hard for City players to get truly global recognition. Bernardo Silva previously commented on the unusual fact that their undeniably brilliant stars have been overlooked for individual awards. Haaland has that kind of reputation, he arrived in Manchester with it, but it was not enough to land him in the Ballon d'Or because Lionel Messi won the World Cup and that is the perfect summary of how these things work. He has had the streets for years and now he has the world. It would be almost ironic if Rodri were to win that award before Haaland because whether the Norwegian cards it or not, it would be entirely on brand for him to win it. It is tempting to check his Instagram feed to see if there isn't already a picture of him posing with a golden ball on a farm. 
but Rodri isn't even on Instagram. The biggest aim for City this transfer window is to bring in somebody who can play alongside Rodri but also be capable of filling in for him. Part of the reason they have found that so difficult in recent years is because they have long considered him the best around and have not pursued anybody who would have the aim of replacing him. City have therefore struggled to find the right balance and it has led to Rodri starting nearly every City game for as back as anybody can remember. Last summer and again during the season, he spoke publicly about needing a rest and needing to be looked after better. He talked about it again just a few weeks ago. It is worrisome enough to think about going into the next season without somebody to ease that burden on Rodri. Imagine not having Rodri at all. Over the past few years, especially since the pandemic weakened club finances across Europe, very few clubs on the continent have the money to buy Rodri. And those that do would probably not want to spend it on a holding midfielder, no matter how good he is. Very few clubs is, of course, shorthand for Real Madrid, and now that Rodri is not just a great player but Spain's hero, and from Madrid, with newfound market ability, it might bump him up on Florentino Perez's wishlist. That might at least stop Madrid from targeting Haaland, which is a move that everybody seems to expect one day to happen, including Team Haaland. And the fact that there is a Team Haaland kind of says it all. City players are hardly attainable in the current market and few, okay maybe Madrid, would even try. Look at Bernardo Silva, who has wanted a move to Spain for the past few years. But this does highlight that the City players' lack of Ballon d'Or recognition over the past few years might have been a good thing. No fanfare, no unwanted attention from the small handful of clubs who might want to buy a top player with that little extra. For the time being, City do not need to worry about that. They can look forward to welcoming back their linchpin after he has had some much needed rest. In the meantime, they just need to find somebody who is almost as good in the holding role and who is happy to fit in and around the team's main man, Rodri. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.